for today. What I think I'm going to try to do is walk you through an, a brand new uh, Edmodo workflow. For those of you that use Edmodo and Ngrade, particularly Edmodo, which allowed students to be able to turn in stuff. I know we had some challenges in the fall in terms of trying to get Edmodo to be able to upload directly from the iPad. And recently, they've added uh, Google support. So Google Drive is now a part of Edmodo. So I'm going to walk you through uh, using Quick Office, Google Drive, and Edmodo, how to actually post, have your students post an assignment to Edmodo. So first things first, you notice on my iPad screen, you've got uh, Quick Office installed and Google Drive installed. If uh, you don't have those installed, obviously it's easier to do this when you go ahead and do install those. So I'm going to open up Google Drive. And uh, this is a brand new install, so I'm going to agree to the terms. And I'm actually going to sign in using a dummy account. And we'll do that right there. Technology at Bridgeton Academy. So this would be what the student would be doing in terms of signing into the Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And here's Google Drive. You've got a couple of, couple of options on the left side, but typically you're going to use My Drive. Um, you can also upload to the drive through the iPad, but the iPad at this point in time will only take stuff off your photo roll. So either videos or uh, pictures you can upload to Google Drive right off the iPad. Um, but in terms of using a word processing program or some other piece like that, you're going to have to use an intermediary like uh, Quick Office or something like uh, actually Pages does uh, drive synchronization as well too. So let's go ahead and just kind of make a real uh, quick folder here. I can add if I wanted to, but I'm just going to add a folder, not a document or a spreadsheet. And I'm going to call the folder, we'll just call it class. And I'm going to create. And there's your folder right there called class. We'll get back to this in a second. Pretty much done with Drive. I've got Drive set to go. I'm going to close down Drive. And I'm going to fire up Quick Office. And basically, this is what, the, again, the program you would use. Let me skip out of this here. Hopefully, this doesn't give me a problem. Program you would use for students to be able to create their assignment that they're going to put through Edmodo to pass in. You'll notice on the left panel, um, I've basically just got one item called on, on iPad. If you use Quick Office with Dropbox, you might have a Dropbox folder there. Uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and add in the Google Dropbox or Google Drive uh, synchronization. So I'm going to click on the plus in the bottom left. I'm going to say Google Drive. And I'm going to log in using the same exact login credentials that I used for Google Drive. All right, I got my password in there, and I click Sign In. It says it's been granted to have Continue to access your account. I hit Continue in the top right, and you'll notice that my, uh, my Google uh, Drive box is there, too, now. So I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add Document, and I'm going to choose the 07-2010 format. And they go ahead and they... Oops. Type in their account, or type in their assignment, I should say. It's having a hard time with all my testing. I click Close. I'm going to Save As. And I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call it Assignment. And I'm going to click Save. And you'll notice immediately it appears in the middle screen in terms of in, in a list with all of the other assignments. And I want to go ahead and I want to move that over to the drive. So I'm going to hold down onto it. It's going to highlight, and I'm going to drag it right on top of my Google Drive to the left panel. And I let go. What happened there? Something happened. Try that again. Hold on to it. Drag over. Little green check mark appears. There you go. That's what we want. Preparing copy. It's going to upload the file. And you see it in the middle pane now. And now it's on my Google Drive. Let's say I want to put it into my class folder. I'm going to hold down onto it again. Drag it over class folder little green check appears again, let go, and it's going to move that assignment doc into my class folder. So I'm good to go. All set with Google Drive. I'm going to cancel out of that, kick into Edmodo, which is vertical, and I'm already logged in to a class through Edmodo. So basically, let's say I look at this assignment right here that I've set up as a teacher, the five W's, and, and you'll notice it says turn in. So 
Um, I've got my class to the left, and again, this is assuming that you know a little bit about Edmodo and you've already set up assignments and so on and so forth. So I'm a student now. I want to turn in that assignment. I go ahead to turn in. I click on turn in, and here's where the students turn stuff in. So here is my assignment, and I'll go ahead and click a click an emoticon, and then from the student's perspective, you got to click on the backpack to go to to your assignments. Your backpack is pretty much your library in terms of a student. So I'm going to click on Google Docs over here and it says there's an error authorizing access. That's no problem. What I want to do is disconnect. Disconnect my account. It says I'm successfully disconnected. So I got to do one more step before I can actually uh, use the Google Drive through my backpack. I'm going to go back to the home of Edmodo. I'm going to click on backpack in the top left menu shows me what's in my backpack. There's a drop down menu in the top left up there. It says backpack there. I'm going to click on Google Docs and I want to connect Edmodo with Google Docs. One more login. Same credentials as before. And I'm going to keep the stay signed in in and I'm going to click sign in. It says Edmodo is requesting permission. Da, 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 da. I'm going to say yes. I want to allow access. Now let's go back to that assignment again. Let's see if I can turn it in now. Nope. Oh, this is showing you backpack with the Google Docs associated. Let's go back to the assignment here, though. I'm going to turn in that assignment. Assignment here. Pick an emoticon, hit the backpack. Now I've got Google Docs and there's my assignment right in the Google Docs piece. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and say attach and turn in assignment. And I've just uploaded my doc file. Now a teacher can go in. As a teacher, you can go in and check the doc file and, uh, and grade it and send the grade back through Edmodo. Situation solved. We can actually upload all kinds of stuff to Edmodo now through Google Drive.